this is a walkthrough of the event management template created by Hello Templately. This walkthrough aims to demonstrate the professional event management experience that is baked into this template. So we'll start at first by going through the dashboard. So the dashboard is your main console to help you understand everything going on with your large, complex event. And it begins with the event summary and within that a small area of key metrics. This is important information that you as the event manager need to know. The number of days until the event, so you know how much time you have to get everything done. Marketing information like the number of sessions that you're going to have, the number of paid sponsors, and of course the revenue from ticket sales. At the same time, there's some information here under the people metrics about the people at your event because the makeup of your audience greatly affects <clears throat> how your event should be organized and run. And your people are your speakers and your registrants. So these stacked bar charts go through the gender of your speakers and your registrants. Then the confirmed number of speakers and registrants. Down here we go through the confirmation status of your speakers and the confirmation status of your registrants. So you can't have this marvelous event without your cash flow report. An event like this has income through sponsorship and ticket sales. It also has rollover income from the last time you ran such a large conference and your budgeted expenses. This top row goes through your projected profit and the bottom row goes through your actual. This is very critical information for the event manager to understand. Moving down into the cash flow, we go through the areas of income, which are the sponsorship from your corporate sponsors and ticket sales or registrant sales. Both of this information is very critical. Finally, cash outflow, these are your expenses. Usually the largest expense is of course the the venue but this will help you understand your different expenses and we also have ways for you to track your vendors so now you understand the big picture view that if you and your team use this template and you regularly update it your very large event can be managed and at least overseen from this top level dashboard let's go through the structure of the the configuration of the template begins like this in the configuration section, you put in all of the attributes and qualities that your template will have. And from there on out, all the other tabs are defined by the configurations here. And this is very important for central centralized control and maintaining a shared terminology throughout your large event. Then we have the master agenda. This is an, this is an, a complex agenda document that the master agenda master is overseeing and this agenda document breaks off into two management sheets one for managing your speakers primarily their contact information and the st their status and confirming that their attendance and managing your vendors because your vendors are not only giving you products many of them are coming to your event to do services such as photography uh, audio video and whatnot so these are a s segment of the people that you're working with going through the master agenda the master agenda from my experience i recommended that the master agenda breaks off into two different agenda views one is a calendar view similar to a column based calendar and two is a printable agenda this is really a key feature which is that as your event goes on from day one to day five the agenda is moving around all the time and you know this and the printable agenda is a print ready format of the master agenda that at any time as you change the details this is ready to be printed and it is designed to look like a uh, a well formatted readable agenda from the agenda management we move into the cash flow then we have the cash in area which covers registration registration is also ticket sales and corporate sponsorship sponsorship in general 
and then we have your expenses. And all of these areas together feed into your dashboard. Now we'll go through some of the key attributes of each area. So we, we begin with the configurations. This is where you put in the name of all the different attributes that you would want. So here we see in the agenda configurations, we have the type of session, the venue, like the name of the different rooms and the events. In sponsorship, we have the sponsorship levels, the types of payments and the accounts that these payments go to. Ticket registration, again, we have the gendered attributes, ticket type, early bird, vendor, whatnot, dietary choice, payment status, and the role of the registrant because your registrants, because your speakers also will register for your event. And you want everyone to register for your event so that when you are printing name tags, you uh, have everyone in one place. Then we go on to the expenses. We need to categorize the type of expenses and the vendors that you have. Here we move on to the master agenda. This is where you are tracking primarily time and speakers. It's important that we go through the title of the sessions, the session type. Session type is very important because it changes a number of things. And if you're not familiar with all the different session types that exist in conference planning, it's good to know the difference between each type. Then we have the venue. The venue is not just the overall venue. It's actually the each room. This is important because you can have events happening simultaneously and in that in such as like breakout sessions. And those are actually going to be visible on the calendar as happening simultaneously. Then we go through the speakers, the speakers roles and their presentation title and the moderators for their sessions. Then we move into speaker management. This is primarily the contact information and management for this each speaker. We go through their confirmation status, their roles, gender, and furthermore the logistics of how they're going to be arriving. And you're going to need their bios, you're going to need their headshots, understanding of their travel arrangements, if you were making hotel confirmations for them, audio video requirements, and a large number of different considerations for each speaker. In the area of people, we also have vendors, vendors that we treat similarly. We go through the vendor flow, if they have been contacted, if they've offered a quotation, if we've accepted their quotation, who the contact point is at each vendor, and what are the services that they might provide day of, along with the logistics of their arrival or their sending on to us, even smart considerations like, are you going to be giving your vendors a meal? especially if they're working and it's a long event. So from here, we come to the calendar view. And here in the calendar view, we can see the different events. Each column is a different venue. This allows for events that are happening simultaneously. And here we can cycle through the number of days. And here we see a new day. This is the view for day two. We have simultaneous events happening in different areas of the venue, different rooms. Day three, we have only one event. This is a very important way to see, to visualize your agenda and what is happening simultaneously. And in it, you can see who is where. The printable agenda is, again, that key clutch uh, capacity for you to print your agenda as it changes. You wouldn't need to change this at all. You do every, all of these changes for the daily calendar and the printable agenda come from the master agenda. So you are only updating the master agenda. Same, the information about the speakers is actually drawn from the speakers and pulled into the master agenda. We move into income and we have sponsorship. You may not have considered this, but a large event is a great marketing opportunity for your sponsors and your sponsors need to follow through the sponsorship funnel. And here is exactly how we do that. We understand what they have pledged, who the contact at your company is to follow them through the, the, the pledge life cycle, your overall goals for sponsorship targets and your progress along those, along with a number of yes, no questions that will end or understand where your sponsors are in their progression to sending you their sponsorship. Along with income, we also have registration. So large registration is, is best to be handled by a, 
an electronic app, something more robust than Google um, surveys because you need to be able to take in uh, payment. However, from whatever app you end up using, you can download the basic data and populate it into this sheet and then continue with tracking the status of the person's registration, their type of registration, and the, your income from here. And here we can see a number of different metrics are calculated for this. And we go into expenses. Expenses are large and complicated. They're divided into a number of categories. And these also produce a number of important call out data points as you track these. And finally, we come to the dashboard where all of this information comes together in one place for the event manager to see. It's really important that um, the event manager understands that this is the type of sheet where they can distribute responsibilities throughout their event management team and the team can work on it effectively and the event manager can see the progress and see the changes that are ongoing. This way you can have a big picture view of your event as it's going on. So if you like this and you feel that this is an, you know, a helpful tool for you, uh, go ahead and give it a try.